You know that the Dutch word for bicycle is fiets, and it doesn't resemble any other language. And where does this word come from? It came from Vietze Pferd, from the German, which is your sort of replacement horse. And that is what the bicycle has been for the Dutch people for over a century, the replacement horse. You see it everywhere. My passion for cycling started at a very young age when my grandfather made a bike for me and he painted it bright blue with a white mudguard. I still see it in front of me. I was only four or five years old. I've been using the bicycle for all my life. It was the sport which captured my passion and this will never ever change. This year's uh, Ronde van Vlaanderen, Tour of Flanders, was especially powerful. Uh, if you watched Van Aert and Van der Poel battle each other all the way until that exhilarating final sprint, it was simply amazing. And I still feel for uh, Julien Alaphilippe who fell uh, before that finish. These fights are so beautiful. Uh, and they were captured uh, by photographers. Uh, and one photograph I found was so beautiful uh, under this ominous October sky that I really had uh, to buy it. And when I con uh, contracted the photographer to get the print, um, I discovered that they had made so many more beautiful pictures, wonderful cycling photos. Uh, this one from when the Tour de France was in Brussels. Um, and I bought it and I wanted to have it here in my office. Now, of course, for me, with my background uh, from the Netherlands and then also living now in Belgium where um, cycling is met with so much passion, it is easy to be passionate and even romantic about uh, cycling. But we have to be practical as well, um, especially now that, um, you know, cycling will become part of our way of life. And many people want it to be part of a way of life. The nice thing about Dutch cycling it, is that we were always very rational about it. It was just a way to get around, not just a sport. It became a sport after that. Um, and now it has to become the way around for everyone. I think that it's time to get there. Also because it's good for you. It's healthy. You know, I remember times of my life when I had difficulties, when I was sad or things didn't go well. Um, I took the bike. Uh, but also when I needed to go to the office and I didn't want to get stuck in traffic, I took the bike and I still take the bike. But for that we need better infrastructure. We need more bike lanes. You see cities all over the world, and especially in Europe, concentrating on that. And in the Green Deal that we have launched, we need to make sure that we help cities create the right infrastructure. That this tremendously useful thing, which is called a bicycle, has even become more accessible to all generations in all conditions because of electric bikes that have now come into play and are really causing, I think, a revolution and opening it up uh, to everyone. So, all in all, I believe the bicycle has a wonderful and romantic past, but also a glorious future ahead of it. And it will have a glorious future because it will be taken up by millions and millions more people, not just in the Netherlands, not just here in Belgium, not just in Denmark, not just in all these other places where traditionally it was already done, but in all of Europe, so that we will be able to say in the near future, Bicycling is a European way.